Sure, we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go over the information. The density of a certain type of food is 353 kilograms per cubic meter. A sample of this type of food is in the shape of a cube and has a mass of 345 kilograms. To the nearest hundredth of a meter, what is the length of one edge of this sample? Okay, so the first information says that the density of a certain type of food is 353 kilograms per cubic meter. Usually, cubic units represents a volume. So here, per cubic meter means one cubic meter of volume. So we have the mass of a wood in one cubic meter of volume is 353 kilograms. Please, in one cubic meter of volume, we have uh, 353 kilograms of wood. The mass of the wood is 353 kilograms. Okay, there is another information. A sample of this type of wood is in the shape of a cube and has a mass of 345 kilograms. Okay, let me draw a cube which represents a, a wood of the sample over here. Okay, here I have drawn a cube which represents a cube given in the question. That is a sample of this type of food is in the shape of a cube. And its mass is 345 kilograms. I mean, uh, the mass uh, of the wood which is in the shape of cube over here is 345 kilograms. And we have to find the length of one edge of the sample. Okay, since we have to find the length of one edge of this uh, cube, so what I need to do is uh, I'm going to assume the length of each edge of this cube is x meters. So here we have x meter, here we have x meter, here we have x meter. Okay, then what is the volume of this cube? So to get the volume of the cube, what we need to do is we have to multiply the length, width and height. So to get the volume of the cube, I'm going to multiply the length x meter times the width x meter uh, times the height x meter. So in this volume, uh, the mass of food we have is 345 kilograms according to this. According to the information we have on the question, so 345 kilogram. So when I multiply x times x times x, I'm getting uh, x to the third power. When I multiply this meter, 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 I'll be getting cubic meter. So we have 345 kilogram of food over here. So in the volume of uh, x cube cubic meter, we have the wood, uh, I mean, uh, the mass of food is 345 kilogram. Okay, I believe we have the information. So in the volume of one cubic meter, the mass of uh, wood is 353 kilograms. So in the volume of x cubed cubic meter, so we have the mass of wood is 345 kilograms. So now what we can do is we can set up a proportion uh, with the stuff over here, the stuff over here. So for that, first we have to form a ratio uh, with these two, uh, two quantities. Okay, let me do it. That is uh, in one cubic meter of volume, we have 353 kilogram of wood. And in x cubic meter of uh, volume, uh, we have 345 kilogram of food. So these two ratios must be equal because uh, both, uh, both the woods are of uh, same type. Okay, now we have a proportion because the ratio over here, the ratio over here are equal. So to solve for x, my aim is to solve for x because x represents the length of one edge of this cube. That's what we have to find according to the question. So for that, what we can do is we can write each ratio as a fraction. So then I'll be getting 1 over 353 equals to x to the third power over 345. Okay, to solve for x first, I have to get up the denominator over here. So for that, I multiply uh, both sides by 345. So when I do so, this 345, 345 will cancel out. I'm getting 345 times 1 is just 345 over 353 equals to on the right side, we just have x cube. So okay, to solve for x, what we need is we have to get rid of this cube. For that, we have to take cube root on both sides. So let me do it. So when I take cube root on both sides, this uh, cube root and this cube will cancel out. So and also the when I evaluate this value using our calculator, so I'm getting 0 0.99 and it keeps going equals to, we just have x on the right side. So when I round this value to the nearest hundredth, according to the information we have over here, so I'm getting 0 0.99 as the value of x. So the length of one edge of the required cube over here is 0 0.99 meters. So the correct answer choice for this question is option B.